This one is for my fans, a flipper magler, you hear me say? Well, I'm thinking for a change. I'm focused on the victim. I'm rehabilitating. I'm trying to earn my way out. Earn my way out. I'm thinking for a change. Focus on the victim. I'm trying to cage my rage. I gotta earn my way out. Me already get my GED. I'm a AA degree. I'm a BA degree. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Saturday evening to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. Now the man presently on your screen, some may know him as Andrew K. Davis and some may know him as the self-proclaimed Flossing King, Flipper Mafia. Now we have seen a video that was released some time ago on social media that has gone viral in the past few hours. Well, probably the past few days depending on the site that you saw it first. And in that viral video, Flipper Mafia was seen being released from prison. But the video is not a late video as in it just happened because Flipper Mafia was indeed released last October, reportedly early on parole, almost 10 years since he was first arrested over drug charges along with his girlfriend and three of his brothers. The video of him walking out of jail has gone viral as the artist is seen celebrating his newfound freedom. Now I'm going to play the video for you right now, my peeps, so you can tune in and watch it for yourself. Yeah, man, see where I go on. Well, there you have it, my peeps. The man known as Andrew K. Davis, a.k.a. Flipper Mafia, in this viral video when he was being released from prison last October. I guess him decided to keep the video until now for release it so that the people him can see it, him so-called fans. Well, as your name suggests, Flipper Mafia, we hope that you flip the script and you have started to write a brand new script so that the younger generation can look on and follow. You know the influence that you have. You know the crowd pulling power that you have. So you have great influence over the younger minds of our nation's most vulnerable. So please, do the right thing and lead by example. You said that you're going to prison and you come out a brand new man. Let us see that in your actions. And the Spot News Media and other like-minded bloggers will most definitely be looking on. Yeah, man. So don't disappoint. All right? So anyway, my peeps, in yesterday morning's vlog, I featured this criminal elements along with some of his criminal enablers. We are talking about Michael Reynolds, presently on your screen from the Barbican Bird Sucker Lane community. I featured one of his criminal enablers one of his main supporters known as Bull. Well, Bull took to social media 
and trying to refute the claim that he has any involvement with that criminal element known as Michael Reynolds. I would play the entire Facebook live for you on YouTube, but I can't because he was playing some copyright music in the background. So I will definitely be uploading that video footage on my Instagram page on On The Spot News Media 876 on Instagram for you to go over and watch that entire clipping where he's saying that he's not involved with them Monday and who go up and move with them Monday and who he never go up and move with yet. And he is basically saying that he's no longer in the Barbican area and he is definitely not involved in what is going on. And he made mention of a man that I also made mention of, a man who is affectionately known in the Barbican era as the Godfather. Now, the Godfather is a prominent businessman in the area. But my opinion on that personality known as the Godfather in the area is a prominent businessman and we know how garrison thing run. And for any business to thrive and to be successful in any garrison community that has quote-unquote so-called dance, these business persons have to definitely make sure, say, the so-called dandada in the area are right. So if him come check the businessman for a hundred grand, the businessman just run on the hundred pack pan him for no say, yo, everything go to you, everything good with fiend business and him surrounding. So nobody won't come text it pan fiend business or tear it down or even disrespect him in no way, shape or form. So that is my opinion of the man known as Godfather. Now the night when Michael Reynolds allegedly took the life of a tree a.k.a. Tree Skull in the Barbican Bird Lane community. It is said that the Godfather got word of what was about to take place, called Michael Reynolds in and gave him some cash and said, yo, just hold on pan that piece of food and take yourself out of the community and not bother with the foolishness. And he took the money and still had his ill intentions in mind and carried out the act of taking the life of Tree. Now, the criminal enabler known as a bull that took to social media yesterday stating the claim that he's not involved with what is going on along Birdsucker Lane and stated that he has not been living there for a long time. Now, that is a blatant lie. You recently left the area because your house was raided by the police. So, if you're involved, why the police them come up a year yard specifically come raided searching for wanted criminals and guns so you know for sure that you only left the community after your house was raided by the police so we know who you are we know what you're involved in and you have also proclaimed that the man known as gunmouth is also not involved. What a name for a man who no know nothing at all about badness, a.k.a. we a good youth. Yeah, man. Who could have been just that and who still have a chance to be just that if who decide to walk away from the dirty kind of boy lifestyle who no live. So who get a second chance to get it right. Now, as always, a word to the wise is most definitely sufficient. So birds suck a lane, boys a lane. Take heed. Yeah, man, me mention boys a lane for a reason. Because the same bull, not just par with criminal elements from a bird sucker, him also par with criminal elements from boys a lane. Yeah, man, we know the full hundred we are dealing with, man. So as always, the eyes are on the spot news media and other like-minded vloggers are on you. So if I was in your shoes, I would do the honorable thing and walk away from the criminal lifestyle that you're living. And as always, you always get a warning before the canning. Yeah, man. So the last thing that we're going to talk about, though, my peeps, is an elderly woman who has lost her life and her husband is presently in the custody of the police following an incident in Bogwalk St. Catherine early this morning. 
the woman that lost her life has since been identified as Yvette MacDonald, a 72-year-old retired nurse of Azar Lane in Bagwalk. So according to reports, MacDonald and her husband were at home when she went to use the bathroom about 2 a.m. It was also reported that the husband used a sharp blunt instrument, namely a machete, to drop some chap in her wife's body all over her upper body and head, leaving her lifeless. The 77-year-old husband was arrested and taken into custody by the police following the incident. It is also reported that the deceased woman who returned from the United States of America just under two years ago was scheduled to go back overseas today just as she met her demise. The Bagwak police is presently investigating that loss of life. So tell me now my peeps, the woman age 72 3 score and 10 plus 2. The man, 77. 3 score and 10 plus 7. What could have really happened at 2 a.m. in the morning for it to end in such a tragedy? Tell me now, my peeps. The wrath of Satan definitely has to depend on Jamaica. Death, doom and gloom hovers each and every day over our heads because at those ages one would think that those are the ages that everybody would have want to see because you live through everything already so you can just go and live your best life in your 70s until the good lord decide it's your time but the 77 year old husband decided not so as he will send her home early to our maker. And at age 77, boy, may I tell you, you should have looked for come from prison and I know you decide for go. Mother really want to know, mother really like for be the fly on the wall in the house. Although you would have probably chopped me too, but mother definitely love for be the fly or even the mosquito to find out what really take place, what really go on at 2 a.m. in the morning for you take the life of your wife. Boy, me I tell you my peeps, the thing rough down at John shop there. Condolences to the bereaved families of Yvette McDonald. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.